old school bodybuilding workout. Today we're gonna do a pull workout, back and biceps. Back in the day, I used to do a lot of push-pull workouts. Now, I concentrate mostly on one body part a day. But the old-fashioned, old routines of push-pull are still being done today. And I'm gonna show you some of my go-to exercises, my mass-building exercises for my back and bicep in this pull workout, which is actually a superset. Superset drop set, superset high rep set. The choice is yours, but I'm gonna show you how it's done. Let's take it over here. All right. Guys, Coach B here. We're gonna do the first exercise for the mass building pull workout. And I'm using an isolateral rowing machine. Okay, I like this machine. It really isolates my lats. And I use an underhand grip. So watch how I do this. I'm gonna take this into a very high rep range. Probably more than 25, maybe closer to 45 reps. So watch how I do this. When I do this, you're gonna see lat muscle engagement, not me pulling with my arms, but me pulling with my back muscles. So here we go. This is all lat engagement. And as I'm pulling back, I'm squeezing. I'm only pulling with my lats and I'm squeezing the reps, and I'm keeping continuous tension on my lat muscles. I'm not letting the weight go all the way forward where I'm losing the engagement or the constant time under tension. So these would be considered partial reps. Very effective. My back is starting to get really lit up right now. Like I said, I'm gonna take this into a very high rep range to get that burn going. And this first set is very important because this is what sets the pace for the pump. And that's what you want. The first exercise, you wanna blow your load so you get that blood into that muscle because the six to eights and the eight to tens just don't do it. Okay, okay, that was close to 50. Ooh, that was tough. The key when you do this exercise is to make sure you're not pulling it with your arms like you're starting a lawnmower. You wanna just grab the handles and use your lat muscles to pull this weight back and squeeze the reps and keep it continuous so you keep the time under tension. All right, now we're gonna go over to a bicep exercise. I said we're gonna superset this. You could do just this exercise for say three or four sets. Then you can go to another back exercise. Then you can go to your bicep exercise. And then the other bicep exercise. You pick your poison. I like to superset a back and a bicep exercise. So I'm gonna take it to a bicep exercise now. So let's head over that way. All right guys, next exercise, spider curls. I'm laying on an incline bench. I have an easy curl bar. And I am gonna rep this out to failure. This is gonna isolate my biceps 100%. This is all about muscle engagement. I'm not swinging the bar. Everything is totally controlled. Every repetition from start to finish. Uh. Oh yeah, there we go. The burn's coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. If you're looking for an isolation exercise, this is it right here. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my God. That was tough. Spider curls. I've become one of my favorite exercises. I stopped doing preacher curls and started doing spider curls. And man, what a difference it's made in my biceps. Crazy pump, crazy pump. All right, we're gonna go back to another back exercise. 
like I said before, you could superset back and biceps. You could just do back, you could just do biceps, or you could do two backs and two biceps. The choice is yours. You pick what you want to do, but make sure you use weight that you can control, the weight that you can handle to get the right amount of repetitions with the proper muscle engagement. And you're gonna take your training to the next level. All right, so let's take this over to another back movement. All right, we're here at the bent over row. This is one of my compound back movements for mass when I do my pull workouts, or in any case, any back workout. I always incorporate that isolateral you saw me do in the beginning and bent over rows. Two compound movements that are a must do, at least in my workout, they're a must do. So watch how I do this. I keep my elbows very tight to my body and I'm engaging my lat muscles. I'm not jerking this weight up and down. It's total lat muscle engagement as I go through this repetition range. Now remember, this is my third exercise. I'm starting to get a little burn. I'm burning gas. So I'm not gonna be as strong here as I was on the first two. So again, handle weight that you know you can get some good reps out of. So watch how I do this. My elbows are tight into my body and I'm pulling it into my weight. Just like this. I'm squeezing my lats as I pull the bar into my lower waist. There's no jerking this weight up like you see so many people do. That's the easiest way to blow the discs in your back out. Just like this, squeezing every rep. Okay. <sighs> The last thing you want to do when you're training is hurt yourself because, man, some of these injuries you just can't come back from. A lot of them are going to require an orthopedic surgeon to fix you. And that, that really puts you out of the game for a long time. So train smarter, not harder. This is only a quarter on each side. So it's 95 pounds. That's a sufficient enough weight for me to get the muscle engagement, the squeeze and the amount of repetitions I want to get, especially since I'm burning gas as I'm going through these exercises. So we're going to take it to one more exercise for biceps, and we're going to do hammer curls. Let's take it over there. All right, we're here doing some hammer curls. I got a set of 20 pound dumbbells. I hold them to my side. There's different versions. You can come up and go across the body. You can come up, rotate the wrist and come down. I prefer this method, straight up and down. Just like this, nice and controlled repetitions. This has been a definite game changer for me when it comes to bicep workouts. I will drop set this, and you can drop set this too doing this back and bicep pull workout. You can go from the 20s, rep them out to failure, go down to the 15s, go down to the 10s, go down to the fives, and then go back to the back exercise. You could drop set every one of these exercises that we did, but I'm gonna tell you right now, it's gonna kick your ass. You better be really conditioned to do drop sets on all these exercises in this back and bicep pull workout. It's no joke. You can do a high rep set on one exercise and do a drop set on the other. Change it up. Never do the same thing over and over again. My biceps are really starting to feel this now. Uh, this is a great exercise. I love doing these hammer curls. Okay, I'm gonna shut this off and we're gonna wrap this up. All right, we just wrapped up old school pull workout, back and biceps, four exercises. I hope you guys got some value out of this. These are exercises that I actually do in my workouts. What I have to offer you guys right now is in the description below, there is a link for a PDF free download on how to start your fitness journey. You put your email address in there and you will get this free PDF download on how to start that journey. Included with that PDF download, you can schedule a 10 minute free PDF call with me. 
where you got me on a Zoom call or a telephone call for 10 minutes, and we are going to help you get you started on your fitness journey. How many guys you know do that? Also in the link below, I have my training courses. It goes over all the body parts, from beginner to intermediate to advanced training techniques. They are for everybody. And my online coaching, 16 weeks, I guarantee to get you in the best shape of your life. My program is called Transform X. Make sure you check it out. There's a link of it in my Championship Muscle uh, Facebook page, my personal Facebook page, and there's a link for it also. I made a community post for all of my subscribers to go check that link out for Transform X in my playlist. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the gym. Peace out.